So as fiber gets further and further in, we think of fiber as something that is used for telephony or for video or for internet. But what a lot of people don't understand is for CRAN, which is cloud radio access network, the radio access network or the mobility service providers are actually using fiber in their backhaul traditionally. But with 5G, you have to have remote radio units or the cells much more densely deployed. In a typical uh, 5G network, at its optimum data rate, you could have cells that are within one square mile of each other, unlike the traditional cell towers that one might have uh, seen when 3G and uh, 4G LTE was deployed. So these, these will require a lot more fiber drops in order to provide the data rates. And the fiber has to go to these cells. There is no longer the luxury of saying, well, I will bring fiber to the base station and then I will convert to RF to get to the remote radio unit. RF will not allow you to operate the 5G network at its design intended data rates. So using TAPS and accessing pre-existent uh, WDM fiber networks that were built for the cable or for the telephone service providers, you're now able to extend and bring fiber to the cell.